So apparently the cool thing to do now is to hate on Cyberpunk 2077. But I'm not gonna do that. Not yet at least. What's going on guys, Cameron here, and thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you never miss a freaking video. Also, if you end up liking this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. It helps a ton and I greatly appreciate it. Now before we get started, I want to say yes, the Call of Duty video was cancelled. Cancelled because I was wrong. Season 1 isn't disappointing at all and I'm actually really happy with it. I originally was hoping for a new Verdansk sized map, but we got Rebirth Island. And now that I've played it and seen we should be getting a new big map come March, I'm happy. So no Call of Duty video. For now. So Cyberpunk 2077 has launched and the hype behind it was massive. But instead of the hype train rolling on for CD Projekt Red, they have found themselves in the middle of quite the mess. The last gen system versions of Cyberpunk seem to be completely broken and unplayable for some people, while the Series X, PC, and PS5 all run the game great with far less issues. But being CD Projekt Red decided to be shady about all the last gen release stuff, they are the target of a lot of hate. And yes, I mean a lot of hate. But I'm not going to spend all my time hating on the devs in this video, at least not yet. My general thoughts about the game and this whole situation is this, commend the ambition, condemn the lies. Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the most ambitious games to ever be created, and CD Projekt Red deserves some credit for that. While most devs fall into a cookie cutter category of game development, CD Projekt Red usually doesn't. Look at Call of Duty. It does the same thing every year. It's the same game every year. I still love it, but it doesn't ever try to raise the bar. The same thing could be said for other RPGs in the genre. They seem to follow the same rules and such, never trying to break the norm. CD Projekt Red doesn't do this. They always push for more and they always push to raise the bar. With Cyberpunk 2077, they set out to raise the bar for gaming once again, similar to the way they did with The Witcher 3. They wanted Cyberpunk to be a realistic, dense, amazing game with a living, breathing city. And I will say it, no developer has ever created a city like Night City. It's big, full of people, cars, clubs, stores, the whole nine yards. Every part of Night City is packed to the brim with content. It's impressive, and any game that is this impressive is demanding. I can't help but think of the YouTuber Skillup's words when he came out of the Cyberpunk 2077 preview a year or so ago. His exact words were this, There is no way this game is going to run on current gen consoles. Sorry, that was my bad Australian accent. You see, he knew what he was seeing was supremely demanding and unlike anything he had ever seen before. And he was right. Night City is a sight to see. It's massive, full of detail, and full of people and things to do. CD Projekt Red kind of outdid themselves. And in the process, they outdid the last gen consoles too. They created a game so dense, so beautiful, and so detailed that the PS4 and Xbox One can't handle it. They knew this, but they tried to hide it. When the game released, millions of people were greeted with a game that is full of bugs, runs at subpar resolutions, and dips into the teens on frame rates. This game forces the potato mode on you whether you like it or not. This even prompted IGN to give the game a 4 out of 10 on last gen consoles. And just as a side note, I don't trust review scores, I kinda make up my own mind about games and I surely wouldn't trust IGN as far as I could throw one of them, but this seemed relevant, so it got in the video. At the end of the day, the game is a hot fresh turd on last gen consoles and CD Projekt Red knew it. Which brings me to my next point. Condemn the lies. Now Twitter and lots of YouTubers are doing a great job at this already, a really great job. You guys are holding it down out there and honestly, I'm really proud of you. The memes, the hateful tweets, the bashing YouTube videos, they're everywhere and CD Projekt Red's response didn't help. In a tweet we got a pathetic excuse for an apology, but the one thing that really set the fire under gamers tushies, we should have paid more attention to how the game ran on last gen consoles. Well duh! What was your clue? This game has only been in development over the whole life cycle of the PS4 and Xbox One. My lord, that was a dumb response. Now let me say this, I'm not a cyberpunk fan. I never was interested in this game, the setting does nothing for me, so I'm not an angry fan, and I'm not a hater either. I appreciate the ambition behind this game, but lying to millions of people, yeah that's where I draw the line. You may not know this, but CD Projekt Red knew this game ran like a three-legged dog on last-gen consoles. They knew it and they hid it. The proof? 
The reviewers were told they couldn't use their own gameplay clips. They had to use B-roll or trailer footage. That's it. They never mentioned any issues with the game until after release. Basically, after they raked in millions from gamers that trusted them. In my book, when you withhold the truth, you're lying. CD Projekt Red lied to millions of gamers, millions of their fans. So when people like Corey Barlog try and defend CD Projekt Red, I have to laugh because this was totally warranted. The lies, the deception, all that equals backlash from the fans. So get used to it. Somebody has to hold these multi-million dollar companies accountable. Now yes, I fully expect them to fix this game. They have to. Eventually, I think we will see the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game running at a stable 30 frames per second, the bugs will be fixed, and all will be okay in the end. But that doesn't excuse what they did. CD Projekt Red has permanently damaged their reputation, and it will take years and multiple releases to earn back the gamer's trust. So at the end of the day, I appreciate the ambition. I commend it. We need more devs who want to raise the bar and try new things. But I condemn the lies. Well folks, that's about it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. It helps far more than you could possibly imagine or know. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at GodsGeeksYT. That's GodsGeeksYT. And before I go, I love you, I appreciate you, and I hope you have a great freaking week. Later, guys.